What's good? Y'all know who it is and y'all know what it is. It's your boy, Matthew Shack live here in Los Angeles. And welcome to Matthew Shack Unfiltered. Man, I just seen the craziest thing that I've seen in the past, what, month and a half. <laughs> I just saw the video here in LA. Once again, man, LA, the city is crazy. I just saw the video of Dave Chappelle at the Hollywood Bowl, which is not too far away, which is right over there for his show that he did uh, for Netflix, uh, a show called Netflix is a joke or something like that. And uh, he was uh, the headliner. And I was thinking about going. I was actually wanted to go. I've never seen Dave Chappelle live, man. And I was telling my wife, man, we should go and check it out. But other things happen, so we didn't wind up going because there's always something happening here in L.A., so you can't hit everything. And I'm glad my ass did not go because when I saw the video, Dave Chappelle's on stage and a guy jumps on stage, tackles Dave Chappelle right in the middle of the show, man, right in the middle of the damn show or towards the end of the show. And he had what looked like to be, at the time, a semi-automatic weapon, uh, which wound up being a a replica gun that did have a real knife attached to it, like a bayonet. You know how they had back in back in the revolutionary days when they had the had the bayonets, we had the 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 the, the sharp uh, knives at the end of the uh, guns and all of that. This cat had a fake gun, a fake semi-automatic rifle with a real knife on it. Ran on stage and just tackled. I mean, tried to tried to tackle him. Like Aaron Donald, man, just basically just flew at him and just sacked him. And at that point, the dude got off and he tried to run, which was a bad decision. OK, first of all, I don't understand how the hell he got into the facility with uh, a weapon. The knife was real. The gun was fake, but the knife was real. How, how did he get in in the first place? They're supposed to be metal detectors, man. Trust me. I go to a lot of venues here. In LA, a lot of concerts. My wife goes to a lot of concerts, a lot of events. You can't get in anywhere without a damn metal detector and somebody wanding you. I don't understand that, dog. That's second of all. Third of all, he got his brakes beat off of him by other comedians that was there. Uh, Jamie Fox uh, and and Dave Chappelle said it said it uh, at the at the. Uh, after he got tackled and the thing about Dave Chappelle and Chris Rock, who was also there, uh, they stayed in character, man. They just went ahead and just, he went and started making jokes. He went in and he started talking about, you know, that, that, that it was all kinds of, I'm not even going to say what it is, man. I'm not trying to get in trouble on here. Y'all go watch the video, man. But Dave Chappelle is a guy that gives zero F's. He gives zero F's. He's going to say what it is he wants to say. And Chris Rock came out and and and, and grabbed a mic. Uh, he was a, a special guest of Dave Chappelle. And he said, was that Will Smith? I was crying laughing, man. Was that Will Smith? Let me tell you something, man. The hardest job now in Hollywood is to be a stand-up comedian. That's, that's the job that's going to get your ass whooped. Being a stand-up comic is a hazardous job. They need to get hazardous pay. They need to get extra insurance. The, the, these concerts now, man, and these shows is going to get hard for, for them to get bonded for insurance. Instead of it being a million dollar bond, it's going to be a five million dollar bond, man, because these guys are just getting slapped. They're getting slapped on national TV. They're getting pummeled and tackled on stage. And the guy in question is a 23 year old guy uh, who got arrested for, uh, uh, I guess he got arrested for assault and battery and felony, uh, you know, weapons or whatever. Uh, it should be attempted murder, man, in my case, in my opinion, man, because he could have easily stabbed Dave Chappelle. But the one thing about Dave Chappelle, Dave Chappelle is diesel, man. Dave Chappelle now is not the skinny dude that used to, that used to be walking around, uh, smoking on the blunts and all of that. This cat is now a dude who is rock solid, who works out and hey man, he lucky that Dave didn't get his hands on him. But at the end of the day, he got the, the guy got the brakes beat off of him, man. And Jamie Foxx was one of the guys that was backstage putting foots to him, hands and feet, <laughs> putting paws on him. And 
Dave Chappelle made it clear, it's like he's back there getting stomped and he got stomped. He is at the hospital. This cat is charged with a felony, several felonies, and he's actually handcuffed to the bed gurney at the hospital bed. He got his ass kicked. And that's what needs to happen, man. Everybody now is so clout, clout chasing, uh, um, heavy everyone wants to be seen everybody wants to be noticed everybody wants to be uh, uh paid attention to and everybody wants to make their point but guess what man you get your ass whooped out here in these streets okay don't let these jokes get your ass kicked and that's what's getting that's what's getting uh, uh looked over these comedians man now if you get on stage and you say something that's uh uh you know incendiary you better make sure you have your crew you better make sure you have your security on tight you better make sure you have the uh, police department or whoever the hell you gotta have you better make sure you have some goons because people are even famous people are coming up to handle their business when it comes to you you better be ready when it comes to them all right man love all y'all out there man. <laughs> crazy as hell matthew shackle filter